Someday, maybe you'll be able to tell the greatest story. Say the greatest line. Give the greatest performance. Find the greatest find. Bob Dylan started out singing other people's songs, but as he says, there came a point where I had to write what I wanted to say because what I wanted to say, nobody else was writing. So born in Hibbing, Minnesota, a, a town, he says, where you couldn't be a rebel, it was too cold. <laughs> Bob moved to New York at age 19. By the time he was 23, uh, Bob's voice, uh, with its weight, its, its unique gravelly power was redefining not just what music sounded like, but uh, the message it carried and how it made people feel. Uh, today, everybody from Bruce Springsteen to U2 uh, owes Bob a debt of gratitude. Uh, there is not a, a bigger giant uh, in the history of uh, American music. Uh, there are thousands of facts that support the fact that Bob Dylan is a plagiarist. It would be impossible to cite all the details in a two-hour movie. One fact we do want to cite is the most important fact, and that is that it has been reported by Reuters that at the age of 16, Bob Dylan was already a plagiarist and knew the value of plagiarizing songs. Quoting Reuters, a poem written by a teenage Bob Dylan in Up for Auction at Christie's is actually a song written by the late Canadian country singer Hank Snow. Christie's announced on Tuesday the seal of the handwritten poem, believed to have been written in 1957 when Dylan was 16 and away at Jewish camp. The words, with a few minor variations, match those of a song previously recorded by Snow, who died in 1999 at the age of 85. Christie said in a statement, Additional information has come to our attention about the handwritten poem submitted by Bob Dylan to his camp newspaper, written when he was 16, entitled Little Buddy. The words are, in fact, a revised version of lyrics of a Hank Snow song. In 96, James Damiano posted the findings of his lawsuit against Bob Dylan on the internet and received over 8 million hits. It was at this time that Bob Dylan's musical works were called into question and the origin of his song started to be scrutinized by critics. His fans were astute in evaluating his duplicity concerning his material and came to learn that 80% of the melodies and lyrical hooks of his songs were plagiarized. These songs included Blowing in the Wind, Like a Rolling Stone, The Times Are Changing, Hard Rain's Gonna Fall, Knocking on Heaven's Door, Read a Minute, and many more, including his Grammy-nominated hit, Dignity. Comments were being published, such as, quote, I was watching a Pete Seeger documentary recently that featured his performance of I Dreamed I Saw Joe Hill Last Night, and I couldn't believe the similarity of the two lyrics. The phrasing and the cadence of these lines were exactly the same, except replacing St. Augustine for Joe Hill last night. I already knew Dylan writes this way. There are other more apparent examples of Dylan taking a phrase or a sentence or a song and reappropriating it for his own uses, such as rolling and tumbling off modern times. As this avalanche of evidence started to bury Dylan, he hid like a cornered weasel behind corrupt lawyer, judges, and journalists who covered up his massive affinity for plagiarism. The heat got so bad that he had to answer in some fashion. When asked what he thinks of people who charge him with plagiarizing songs, Dylan replied, 
Wussies and pussies complain about that stuff. Bob Dylan is sick and tired of his critics. In an interview with Rolling Stone, the 71-year-old folk rock icon, who has just released his 35th studio album, addressed charges of plagiarism, calling his critics wussies and pussies for claiming he was stealing from the works of others. In 2006, the New York Times accused Dylan of borrowing from a Civil War-era poet on his Modern Times album. And the Wall Street Journal claimed Dylan's 2001 record Love and Theft had very similar phrasing to a 1995 biography of a Japanese mobster. Dylan claims that in folk and jazz, quotation is a rich and enriching tradition. And he compared the accusations to folk fans calling him Judas when he started to play the electric guitar on stage for the first time in the early 1960s. No doubt some will examine Dylan's latest album, Tempest, for its authenticity. But in his latest interview, Dylan has a few choice words for his harshest critics. They can rot in hell. Also, Dylan recently, in a Los Angeles Times interview, admitted to plagiarism by definition. In a 2004 interview with Robert Hilburn of the Los Angeles Times, Bob Dylan stated, well, you have to understand that I'm not a melodist. My songs are either based on old Protestant hymns or Carter family songs. What happens is, I'll take a song and simply start playing it in my head. That's the way I meditate. I wrote Blowing in the Wind in 10 minutes. Just put words to an old spiritual, probably something I learned from Carter family records. The times they are changing is probably from an old Scottish folk song. I'll be playing Bob Nolan's Tumbling Tumbleweeds, for instance, in my head constantly, while talking to a person or sitting around, whatever. People will think they are talking to me, and I'm talking back, but I'm not. I'm listening to the song in my head. At a certain point, some of the words will change, and I'll start writing a song. End quote, Bob Dylan. This is the videotape deposition of Elliot Mintz in the matter of Damiano versus Sony Music and Bob Dylan. Have you ever lied to Mr. Damiano? Yes. Um, yeah, we started to meet meet these 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 people who'd really just been in newspapers and on film. You know, we actually were rubbing shoulders with them. He was one of them. He was our idol. Bob was, uh, Bob was our hero. Not an idol, but we just heard his record. As I said, we listened to his album, and it really gave us a buzz, and we played it constantly, over and over and over again. I mean, I heard of Bob through John. Uh, he'd played the records to me, and it was just, it was just great. I think it was freewheeling. We love Bob Dylan. Oh, what did he see? My blue-eyed son And what did you see My darling young one The suddenly born baby Was wild wolves all around it So how we've done Thanks, Bruce. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 